Hi everyone and welcome to the first day of daylight savings time and for those of us who are not morning people it can be a bit of a shock we kind of drag ourselves through I'm not in a bad mood first thing in the morning I just don't really exist yet and so I find daylight savings time a stretch but I wanted to read a couple of quotes today and I'm not going to give a lot of commentary because I think they speak for themselves but these quotes are a little bit longer so feel free to rewind and listen to them again and here's the first quote it's by Johann Wolfgang von Goth and he says I have come to the frightful conclusion that I am the decisive element it is my personal approach that creates the climate it is my daily mood that makes the weather I possess tremendous power to make life miserable or joyful I can be a tool of torture or an instrument of inspiration. I can humiliate or humor, hurt or heal. In all situations, it is my response that decides whether a crisis is escalated or de-escalated and a person is humanized or dehumanized. If we treat people as they are, we make them worse. If we treat people as they ought to be, we help them become what they are capable of becoming. And now let's do that last couple of sentences and apply them to ourselves. If we treat ourselves as we are, we make ourselves worse. If we treat ourselves as we ought to be, we help ourselves become what we are capable of becoming. And the second quote is on the Daily Christian Quote website, and it is also in the Daily Christian Quote Facebook group. You can join the Daily Christian Quote Facebook group by just looking for Daily Christian Quote Facebook group all together and you'll find me. So this is by Jill Parr. Jill Parr is the wife of Ryan Harden, who is the creator of the Daily Audio Bible. Jill is an incredible woman of God honest, transparent, not afraid to talk about the difficult challenges, but she's always got hope there. She's overcome an awful lot, even in the last few years, and she's still got some issues that are going on as well. But you can find her on Facebook on the Daily Audio Bible Woman's Group. Don't let the name put you off, men, because what she has to say will speak to your heart as well. And it might help you along your journey. And this is what Jill had to say. Maybe today was hard on you. Maybe you're in a difficult season. Maybe grief has robbed your joy. Maybe you feel all alone. Maybe you wanted to find thanks and gratitude, but circumstances have you feeling like life is more unfair than it is good. Can I just tell you that you made it? The only way to get through hard things is to do just that. Get through it. You did it. You're through it. And hope still abounds. Joy is still to be found. Mercies are new every morning grace is still endless you are never alone and the only thing you have to be is just to be so if you're going through a rough day and you've got air in your lungs and you're breathing in and out you're already going through it and there will be an other side so i leave you today with those two quotes it's up to you how you're going to look at your circumstances and how you're going to speak into other people's circumstances. But if you're really going through a really rough time and you cannot keep your head above the water, remember who is holding you up and who is the lifter of your head. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.